Now today we're going to be looking at the Moonshine playing cards. Really fun deck. Never seen a deck done on alcohol before. Um, I'm not old enough to drink, but hey, this is actually a really, really, really fun deck. Who's made a moon Moonshine deck before? No one. So if you want to check out this deck, you have to be subscribed to the channel, ring the bell so you get notified when I post a new video, smash that like button, because I post a new deck review every single Wednesday, and a new either card trick or card is remove or sleight of hand or something along playing cards and car magic every single Sunday at 8am. You will not want to miss all this content coming out every single week. So if you guys want to dive into this, let's do it right now. Now today we're going to be looking at the Moonshine playing cards. Now I've never actually had Moonshine, I'm not old enough. But today that's what we're going to be looking at. Now the front of the tuck box has a bunch of smoke that ends up looking like a spade pip. At the bottom it says moonshine playing cards and down in this nice soft gray. On the back is kind of different. Uh, it has a bunch of swirls, has the Enigma logo bit upside down going both ways so it is a uh, two-way design. Um, this is actually the back design of the playing cards. Uh, one side says official moonshine playing card designed by Lloyd Thomas Barnes and the other side says the United States Playing Card Company. The bottom has Enigma ad copy and the top does as well. Now the inside tuck flap says the night hides a world but reveals a universe and there's nothing on the two inside tuck flaps and that's all I can say about the tuck box. Now if we get into these cards here's what you're going to find is the same design as an extremely thick white border uh, but it is the same design as the back of the tuck box which because this is such a thick border wow I didn't realize I've already messed with these this much um, sorry I've already I've already definitely used these cards I have We'll get into why that is in a second, but a uh, super, super, super thick border, which is going to make fanning and things not as beautiful, um, but can make packet cuts more beautiful. Um, and the back is the same thing as the back design of that, but it's more of a faded design. Now here we have a bunch of standard cards that are all industry bicycle standard. Um, it came in a standard order. We do have a double backer, and then one of our jokers, which is two barrels which would be for the actual moon sign itself, has J's in both corners and says Joker here with the enigma on the bottom of the barrel. This one we have a different colored card. And then we have our duplicate Joker. And then the rest of the cards here are all bicycle standard, reds are red, blues are blue, black are black. Everything else is what you'd expect except for our, of course, Ace of Spades which is the same one from the box, except for everything has been enhanced. Um, I, I love this Ace of Spades. It's so cool. The way that they did the purple behind it is honestly one of my favorite Ace of Spades, um, period. Honestly, it's one of my favorite all-time Ace of Spades. But, so from when you fan out the faces, it looks like a bicycle deck, but when you fan out the backs, you're going to have such a thick border you can't really even see anything. Besides that you also want to know um, how it feels, how it pharaohs. So the thickness it feels just like a normal deck. Um, it's not thick, it's not thin. Um, if if bicycle to five I'd say it's a six. Like there's really like a, that's on the thickness scale. Like it's really not anything shocking. Um, how it pharaohs from top to bottom it pharaohs beautifully. There's nothing to complain about there. It pharaohs like butter, um, which is honestly one of my favorite parts about this deck. You have no problem, even if you person that's never tried pharaohing before, this would be a deck that I'd recommend to actually start your pharaohing process on because it's a really, really easy deck to pharaoh with. So that is what the giant fan looks like. And now we can go from bottom to top and see what that looks like. So bottom to top just as well, pharaohs beautifully. And then have a little bit of a cascade there. Now who do I think should buy this deck? 
Um, honestly, if I were to pick someone to buy this deck, let's just go through them all. We have magicians, cardists, collectors, and people who like to play cards. So magicians first. Um, I think it could work really easily for magicians. Um, there's not really anything that would say magicians couldn't use it. The back design wouldn't throw anyone off. The faces are all standard. Everything should work fine. Plus you get duplicate jokers, which can be used in magic tricks, and a color changing card. So what you have here, you could definitely use for magic. Um, I'm not sure how cards would feel about such a thick border. And because it's faded, it's not going to really pop when doing different flourishes. So I'm not really quite sure how Cardus would feel about it. If I were to be a Cardus and the minimal amount, of, minimal amount of Cardistry that I do, this would probably not be a deck that I would use when I am performing Cardistry. Um, for Collectors, I think they would love it. Um, it's a deck about Moonshine. Name another Moonshine deck. There isn't one. Of course not. It's Moonshine. Um, so this is kind of a really fun new thing that hasn't come out yet, which I love. So Collectors should definitely hop on this deck. It's a moonshine deck. It's kind of fun. Um, it works really easily for gameplay. There's nothing. There's no markings. Everything is standard, so you're going to get what you get, and that'll make it really easy for gameplay. So I hope you guys like this deck review. If you guys want to pick it up, link is down in the description, and I also left a rare playing cards link down there where you get 15% off your order for using code CARDPERFECTMAGICIAN. Really easy. And it's not just off your playing cards, it's, it's really anything you buy in store. So if you guys want to check that out, link in description. Make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, and give this video a thumbs up so you guys get notified every time I post a new video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is Card Perfect, signing off.